What Ajax is and why you want to learn Ajax. In this tutorial, you will learn how you can use Ajax with JavaScript to build dynamic web applications. Before we talk about Ajax, let's understand how a browser gets information to display a page. When a browser requests a page from a website, the browser in your machine is acting as a client. The website is being delivered through a machine called server. When you ask for a page, the client makes a request to the server and the server returns a page. Sometimes you may want to ask for some additional information from the server. Let's say your page has thumbnails for a photo album and perhaps the album has more thumbnails than you can see in the current view. Without Ajax, if you want to see more thumbnails, you would have to make a request back to the server and it will send you a whole new page with additional thumbnails. That means the server will send a lot of information that you don't really need all over again. With Ajax, the server does not have to send you the whole page again. It just sends the pieces you need, in this case, new thumbnails. Ajax is not a single technology but a group of technologies working together to make that happen. Technically, AJAX stands for Asynchronous JavaScript and XML. Asynchronous means that the client can request new pieces of information from the server at any time. It doesn't have to wait for a page to reload. The J in AJAX stands for JavaScript. JavaScript is where all this magic takes place. It handles the events that trigger a new request, makes a request for a new data to the server, and takes care of updating only the part of document that needs to change. JavaScript talks to the server through a set of programming methods called an API and uses what's called an XHR or XML HTTP request. This is where the X in AJAX comes from. The XHR API lets the browser send and request data from the server. This can be a bit confusing because a lot of people think of XML as a language used to describe data. That's a lot like HTML. Sometimes people assume that the X in AJAX means that the data from an AJAX request has to be in XML. But the data that gets transferred to and from the server can be in any format. And it's usually either a text file, HTML, a JavaScript object like JSON. So AJAX is really just a fancy term for a technology that lets you build pages that update without requiring a page reload. JavaScript does most of the heavy lifting with AJAX and it uses the XHR API to handle the communication between the client and the server.